right, so welcome back. Uh, in this episode, we are back working on this old lathe, and uh, what we're going to be doing in this episode is changing over this tool post uh, to a quick change. And uh, let me show you uh, what we had ordered. So I'm assuming since uh, you clicked on this video, you already have an idea of what we're doing, but this is ooh, made in China. That's the stamp of quality here. But uh, let's see. All right, so this is all that came in the kit here. Um, so we have our main tool post change. Uh, we got a boring bar set up for, I forget the size, I wanna say it's five eighths, three quarter. And then parting tool holder, uh, a combo uh, holder with a knurling, just a regular tool holder, and then another tool holder, but this one has like a V groove in the bottom. So really you could use that for um, boring bars as well. So let's look at fitting this onto the setup over there. So the main reason that I want to change over from this old school pivot type, I don't know actually what it's called, but uh, it's just time consuming, swapping in and out of different parts because you have to re-level it every time, shim it. All right, so here's our tool post set up, and this block has to fit in there. And I can already tell that yeah, this is too big. So we're going to have to take some dimensions and trim this block down to, to fit in here. All right. So we measure our opening on the, the, the T slot here, and uh, using a precise tooling to measure it. Uh, we came up with uh, about the profile that we need. I'm not sure if you can see that on there, but just scratched it in. And then we're gonna use non-precise tooling, uh, an angle grinder, to carve that out. And is it a dumb idea if it actually works? Uh, let's try it. So the angle grinder, yeah. the angle grinder did a pretty quick job of removing that material, and uh, we're within, you know, roughly thirty thousandths. But really, as long as it fits in here, um, it doesn't really matter. I don't believe because the tool post is going to sit on the top here, and this is just kind of forcing it up from the bottom. So I think we should be there, fine there. Plus, as you can tell, this thing's already got some damage, but yeah, it slides in there, and I think that'll work. Let's put the tool post on. All right, so let's put some tooling in here. Oh, cool. The uh, the hardware, these set screws that they're using are uh, a standard size, which is nice because everything on this machine is standard. All right, and then to set our height here. Let's roll this in and touch off. I want to be just below the center of that. There. So I'm going to lock this down. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's a lot easier. Then swapping out tooling, put it back. Right back to zero. It's awesome. Cutting through a well there, so it's struggling a little bit, but definitely not the tool post fault. For just making little parts and stuff, I think that'll be just fine. It's easy enough to swap in, swap out. Okay, so that's what I was... This isn't actually loosening it, because it is still locked down. There's just a, like, a little bit of play in there, which is fine. Cool. I'm happy with it. My review on this uh, this tool post setup. Um, you know, for you know what it is. Um, this isn't a high precision machine to begin with. Uh, it's got a lot of wear in it. Uh, this just makes it a lot easier. So, um, you know, it was like a hundred bucks, give or take, and um, you know, it comes with six tool changers and uh, overall you know you really can't go wrong um would i buy it again yeah absolutely um but yeah i'll put a link in the description below and you know if you have any thoughts on these or the piston style type that in the comment section below I'd like to know uh, your opinion on which you like better i like the wedge but to each their own but I really uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, appreciate it when you like and subscribe. It really helps us out. Continue to do these kind of things. Um, but until next time, take care.